Right, so I've got a nice little special treat for you. Where are we, Mardan? Yeah, there's my boy Hamza. <laughs> and where have you brought us today, Hamza? Uh, it's basically a brown sugar yes. cane factory, about brown sugar factory, mm -hmm. organic sugar. So a lot, of, a lot of places in Pakistan, they have this brown sugar bowl and you like bite into it and then you drink your tea or your chai with it. It's called gur. It's called gur, gur. Gur. Yeah, gur. I've had it plenty of times in Pakistan. And we're here in the, a remote farming village by the looks of it. Look at all these men here putting the graft in. Young kids here. Hello, assalamu alaikum. We've got donkeys working in the fields here. It's a bit hazy. Don't know whether it's because the, the burning stuff or, oh we are, Sana. Sana's going to come and show us something. So yeah, quick little video. And this is how the brown sugar's made here in Pakistan. Quite interesting. How are you, Ben? How are you? Hello. <laughs> How old are you? Yeah, uh, come here. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. This is the juice going in. Yes. They're uh, putting in the sugar cane. And then the juice is going inside. Yes. Now come here. Assalamu alaikum. Oh. There's the donkey. Place. Oh wow, there's the sugar. That's what it turns out like. Huh? Here we go. Product. Yeah, it's, it's basically different. Uh, uh, Tastes very strong. Uh, what do you call it? There's some spices in it. Yeah. Some, some yeah, it's got spice. Yeah. Come here. Wow, this is all right. So, what's this here? There's the juice coming in. That's the. Uh, oh, I see, yeah. They're going to filter it from here. Is it? Yeah. We'll attach a filter. So, all this thing will go, will be left inside. Then it's being cooked. Then. Then they make this out of it. Right, so wait for it is being cooked. The, the, the juice comes out of here from the machine. Yeah, then it's filtered. Filtered through this and then it gets boiled. Yeah. And then what does it do once it's boiled? How does it come into a solid? Uh, when, it's, when it's boiled, it comes in the solid form, then it's been poured here. Then they make small balls. balls out of it. So basically this liquid will evaporate and turn into like yeah. a, a yeah. paste. Yeah, molasses type of thing. Right, wow. Yeah. yeah. It's actually spicy sugar. Never tried spicy sugar before, but it's nice. And this is it. This is not, this is not spicy. It smells like something I've, I, I recognise. Uh, and then you bite it's some. From yeah. And then you like drink your chai or drink your cup of tea. I think they use it for many things, but that's the way how I've had it. You, you take a bite and then drink, uh, drink, drink a cup of tea, basically. Can you smell like... It smells really familiar, but I can't. I'm bunged up, so I can't smell anything. It's like the co the cauldron of sugar. You can see it now it's starting to get a foam on top. Yeah. These are the things, the small ones. Cardamom. No, it's not cardamom. Is it chili? No, it's not chili. It's called sonf in uh, Urdu, but I don't know what's called in English. Saf. Sonf. No, not saffron. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, some sort of like seed for flavour. Yeah. Let's go see what we can find. Interesting. You think? No? I think it's good. <laughs> so, look at this donkey. He probably caught in. Donkey. So these boys here unload it all onto here. The donkey brings it from the field and then he ships it back over here through the machine and then it goes through into that room and it gets boiled and forms that solid so this is, this is how it's made and it's probably sold to Peshawar, all the cities, all the local areas no. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum 
Say hello! Hey! <laughs> Poor donkey getting bloody ragged about by these. Right, so Chanel's gonna do a bit of work for once. <laughs> Hams are here calling the shots. <laughs> I must admit that doesn't look that that appetizing there, but I suppose it won't do. Bees. <laughs> oh, are they bees? Yes. Oh, because it's the, the sugar. Be careful. Careful, don't just stand from a distance. Yeah. Stir it. Yeah, you just stir it. Yeah, push it. <laughs> what a it's mad. Monster. How many like years old has this factory been here for? Is it like hundreds of years? Not or? hundred of years, but quite old, about 30, 40 years I would say. Enjoying that Chanel. Yeah. I want, I want to see it. You want to see it in this. <laughs> That's a quite an old way of doing it. Yeah, traditional way, I'm guessing. Is that when it's going hard? Yeah. Mm. Let this guy show us how it's done. So this guy's going to show us how it's actually done now. <laughs> Same process. Same process. Not sure where he's taking us now. This is like where all the uh, crap material must be stored after. Oh, here we go. So the cauldron that you've seen in the other room with the liquid and everything, and this is the guy here. So they're utilizing every part of the key. Oh, I see, right. So there you go, nothing goes to waste. The stuff that they don't use to make the, the sugar, which is all this, like the, the, the leaves and stuff of the plant, they actually use that to to make the fire so all this is is for, for the fire yeah this is the key and that's the juice that goes which is pretty pretty interesting actually pretty cool because nothing goes to waste they have even got a fan here to is that to, to keep the oxygen flowing yeah. into the fire yeah it's fire big crazy manana manana <laughs> there you go a sugar, a sugar cane molasses farm here in Mardan in Pakistan. Crazy. Oh, look at the donker. Hey, what's Santa got for me here now? <laughs> what have you got for me? This is a fresh sugar cane juice. I'm nervous about Did this Chanel, it. <laughs> Chanel always tells me I'm going to get ill from it. I've never actually tried it. Ah, it's very refreshing. Mm. Very sweet, but funny. If you get ill, I'll get ill. We're in it together. Sorry. Don't like it. <laughs> it's not my face. It's a bit like coconut water, in, like sweet coconut water. Give it to Sana, you drink it. Get this boy here grafting. Do, do, these, do these lads not go to school, these young children here? It's winter, winter vacation. Sorry? Winter vacation. Winter vacation. Oh, right. Till, so, till the 10th of January. Okay, okay, okay. So they do go to school, but they aren't lounging about on Xboxes and Playstations like us lot do in the West. These lot are putting in the graft. And we're drawing a crowd.
<laughs> I, I already know what people are going to say in the comments oh it's mean it's mean yeah no, believe me i think it's mean but i've been sort of forced into doing it and now chanel's being forced into doing it these donkeys are very strong they're carrying big loads but all part of the experience yeah get on your knees don't we don't want any snap necks i don't know why they're making us do this to be honest that's cheating. That's easy. Anyone can do that. Right, I think that's enough. Get off it now. Feel a bit mean. It's a bit. It's a little bit mean. But I mean, look, they're all like saying, "Have a go." If you miss your flight, you can take this. Yeah. We'll take this to Bangkok. <laughs> I think you maybe at least uh, seven months. To yeah, probably. What do you think? I feel a bit mean on the donkey. Yeah, I know, well. He's done now. Oh, it's not the end of the world. They've been doing that these sorts of things in these villages for centuries. Well they are working animals and donkeys are strong. Oh they're very strong, but not with a big fat thing like me on its back. Oh me. <laughs> Got a crown. Oh. <laughs> come on, follow, come, come. Everyone follow us. <laughs> so what did he storm? This is hay. Oh, it's for hay? Yeah. Come here. Oh, you take it like it's this? Hay. Oh, it's dry. I thought you could go inside. No, no it's <laughs> hay. Basically, it's a storage. They store it like this. And how have they made this? You pay and uh, Yeah, but and they mix it with this kind of these things. Yeah, it's for storage. I'm like, it's, they gave it to me. I must admit, I don't really know what to think, like, just like, tourists just invading like this little farm in the middle of nowhere they seem happy and they'll get paid we're on part of like a tour with Santa we're all they're all following me so they must be they mustn't be that bothered hello hey I think they're quite intrigued by this camera I feel like pillet walking around with this camera half the time because they're all staring at it thinking what the bloody hell is that they've probably never seen one in their lives well, yeah, the, the farms of Mardan, the sugar cane and brown sugar farms here in Pakistan. Yeah. Say it again. Okay, <laughs> they, there's a two type of, like, we, we make two types of sugar. One is the brown, organic sugar. Yes. And one, uh, we, we sell the canes to the, to the uh, sugar cane mill. Right. Yeah, it's a sugar mill. Basically. So two forms of income from the sugar, yes. basically. And Pakistan, the Asia's largest sugar mill, that's in Mardan. There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> Love it. It's Asia's largest sugar mill, known as a premium sugar mill. Wow. Yeah, it's huge. Wow. I bet this place in summer is just mad. Got these little citrus. This is what we had last night, and it Hamza. Yeah, this, this is citrus. So this is not an orange. No, this is not an orange. <coughs> this is a citrus fruit, a bit eat, like an orange. Yeah, I would have just thought it was an orange. It's, it's totally, I would say, sour. And really these sour. grow all year round, do they? Or? No, they they grow like this is the time to pick it. A like, winter time. Yeah, winter time. All oh, right. So. Our language is called naran. Naran. Drop is finished, you do this thing with it. And then when you want to fix it, you yeah. flatten it all. No, no, not flatten it all. It's we use a cutter kind of thing. But it's considered All your oil from. is coming from <coughs> the hmm? All the what? Oil. The, uh, the oil, you know, you eat. Oh, this yeah, is cauliflower. Yeah. Oh yeah. Show them. Show them the Pakistani cauliflowers. Yeah. In England, we eat cauliflower cheese. It's, it's very nice. <laughs> Your crops are being ruined by the bugs. <laughs> you want one? No, thank you. Raw cauliflower? Yeah, no problem. It's not okay. really clean, no problem. It? <laughs> it's not being cleaned. <laughs> no, no problem. We can uh, sit anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like Josh running into the fields. <laughs> well, if it's been weed on, it's not been cleaned. It, you eat it. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm that she threw it. 
<laughs> you grass. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? These are the potatoes. They look like strawberries. Red potatoes. Mm. We do get them in England, but I don't know what they're called exactly. But this is the potato field. Showing the potato field. What do they grow here, Chanel? Potatoes. <laughs> uh, what else? Cauliflower, sugar cane, citrus. Potatoes. Potatoes. He's taking these home for his tea. This is for putting the biryani. <laughs> <laughs> biryani and salad. The main boy is there. <laughs> this is your man if you're in Pakistan. Yeah. Being what? Marwat. <laughs> Trying to promote you here. Hello, <laughs> come. <laughs> It's it's I'll, I'll write it down for you. Don't worry. Not done traveling. Not done traveling. Yes, yes. No. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you after. Okay. But we're just going back to the uh, the sugar place. Because yeah, it's all the liquid is now into the paste, so they're going to show us how they prepare it into the bowl. So that, yeah, we're going to go <laughs> go and see how it's done. The, the final bit of the preparations for the sugar. Yeah. Got a crowd. As always, he's got his taters. So, this is actually my last day, or our last day in Pakistan today. We leave tonight at 11.30 p.m. Fly to Bangkok and Thailand. I have been there before, but I'm very, very sad to be leaving this place. This is gonna be, the, I think, the, the last Pakistan video that I put out. I'm gonna cry. Okay, I am. I could cry. Like it's been such an amazing experience. Everyone talks on YouTube and that. Oh, it's amazing! It's amazing! And I, you need to come and see it for yourself. I was a bit apprehensive about coming. I must admit, we weren't gonna come actually. And then something just triggered that. That was the plan. We've wanted to come for a few years, and it's been the most life-changing, special experience I've ever ever had in my life. Been here for five weeks. We've met people that are, are now classed as good friends, and I'll continue to come back and see them. Seeing remote places, seeing busy cities, seeing cultural differences, seeing very conservative places, places that aren't so conservative, like Hunza. It's just a mad place. The the faces of the people from Pakistan change depending on where you are. The culture, everything. It's just a mad place. It really, really is. Right, so here we are. The liquid should have turned to a paste. Let's go have a look. Salam alaikum. Oh, it's not ready. I thought it was. Just in time. Oh, just in time. Yeah, it's got a soup smell. 10 15 minutes, I still there. It's a big car carrot and coriander soup. That's caramel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, caramel, yeah, true. So it's the, the liquid now, I don't know if you can tell the difference, it's starting to thicken up and like caramelise a bit. It's like a foam now, so in about 15 minutes it'll be thick, gooey paste, I think. And then we're going to mould it into balls here. It's winding you up. It's winding you up. What's going on? <laughs> They're unhappy with you now. <laughs> just I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm going to get whipped. <laughs> you see now, they'll, they'll break every... <laughs> Looks like salted caramel. Yeah, it does. Uh... So it's ready now. The process is finished. They're going to show us how they get it out into balls. Yeah. 
Here we go. Do all these guys live in, in the little area? Yeah, the, 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 this village that belongs to us. We have given them homes and stuff in the living room. Wow. With the families? Yeah, with the families. They have been like for the past, I would say, 40 years. Yeah, for the future home here. Yeah. Yes. A caramel sugar cane. Big enough. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Yeah, roll it. Wait for it, then you'll try it. Wow, we're filling up. Wow. Turn it, turn it. And uh, Josh, get up to me. This, this thing is really hard. <laughs> 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 Yes. Right. Well, Try it. Something. What was biting? Yeah, you have to take it like this. Oh, I see, right. I thought you were. Huh? Look at that. Fresh caramel. <laughs> Pakistan hospitality. Tea and parathas. <laughs> As always. Chicken as well. Oh, and chicken. Oh. <laughs> chicken, oh, wow. chicken is our national bird. <laughs> oh, is it fried chicken? Yes. Oh, even better, fried chicken. <laughs> chicken is a national Local bird. Local KFC. Well, yeah. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've tried fried chicken in Pakistan. There we go. Local KFC. <laughs> Mm. So I've just been gifted a cauliflower off the farm. I can't take it with me though because I'm going to Bangkok later, but lovely gift. Sana's going to have it in the hostel, aren't you, Sana? <laughs> yeah, Sana's going to have it. <laughs> this is the final product. It smells good. Right, so here we go. Final, it looks like fried chicken actually. So this this is from that batch. This is from that, that batch. Oh, it's still warm. So here it is. Can I try a bit? I'm going to try fresh. I'm only going to have a bit. Very strong, but nice. Sweet. So there you go. That's how it's made. Brown sugar here in Pakistan. Molasses. Very good. <laughs> That's how it's done.